do you know what's big we, last week we spoke about apple you know potentially tailoring in soccer matches into their their subscription model for t- apple tv uh-huh. and how that might have you know impacted dstv a little bit negatively with that transition happening well there's going to be a there's going to be more action we've got another big company coming to Ooh, south africa this is very exciting i couldn't believe it i thought it was a fake story and this is very hush hush because it's not like there was an announcement made there was leaked documents which yeah, revealed no something. official announcement yet but we know it's going to happen so as of right now um amazon is potentially going to be launching in south africa as early as february 2023 now i don't know why this keeps happening but I found that when I was younger, you know, I always wanted fast internet. Now I'm older and then now there's just fast internet, you know. And I always wanted Amazon in South Africa. That would have been my dream. And know? now it's coming and, you're, and not, it's you're not that hyped. Well, I'm pretty hyped because I finally get to do it. But it's been a long time coming, you know. I've been like, yo, I wish it's Amazon about time, yeah. launched in South Africa yeah. like 12 years ago, you know. Oof, okay, well, long yeah, ago. I understand. Uh, maybe not 12 you're, years. You're, you're probably ago. like, hey, it's about time, eh? It's about time. Welcome like, to the party. And the interesting thing is you can buy some stuff of Amazon but Amazon's been up to some to some stuff anyway so the company is looking to make a name for itself here taking on the likes of obviously take a lot and macros online stores the news comes from leaked documents that were shared by business insider telling us that Amazon plans to expand to four other countries along with South Africa Belgium Colombia, Nigeria and Chile are all set to get the Amazon treatment with uh, with South Africa. If the leaks are true, we should see um, Amazon here in South Africa as early as February 2023. And also, Amazon has been shopping around for some warehouses in South Africa. There's another Ooh, leak story. Okay, well then we know it's going to happen. So there's definitely some planning going on. And the question is, how does that impact take a lot? How I was going to ask you. Because I see Take Lot was in the news this week as well for they actually got uh, a slap on the wrist for false advertising really? on one of their products. Yeah, by the the board, you know, who controls uh, advertising. Wow. All that kind of stuff. Yeah, they were advertising. But it happens a lot, apparently. No. I where the prices are wrong or the photos are wrong. And then, I mean, you order something and it looks like a complete, like a deflated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a wish version. Now, how do you how do you think the guys at Amazon, ach, at uh, Take A Lot, are responding to this? Well, we all know the story well maybe not of all of us but a lot of us know the story of how take a lot got successful they entered into south africa and sold at a loss for quite a long time to to get that word of mouth around that this is how you can you know um easily purchase stuff online and then they had their anything over 500 rand is free delivery so they had a marketing strategy in place upon launch to truly disrupt the industry but it changes a little bit when you get put on the back foot and a massive company with an unimaginable amount of capital can just c- come in and and offer everything that they have overseas at a discounted rate because take a lot business i'm sure is very behind the scenes on importing of goods into south africa sourcing the con and and that relationship that they have established but amazon i'm sure has a much more sophisticated network of supply Mm-hmm. And if they come to South Africa and they apply that 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 network of supply and it works really well, they could really easily undercut take a lot's pricing. But my my opinion is competition. Good competition is always comp- good competition. You know, um, it, it 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 cultivates cheaper prices for the consumer. Yeah, it cultivates innovative ideas that makes the consumer's life easier. And I think, you know, take a lot and and Escom and even like Telcom and these big companies, they've, they've been able to run quite freely for a long time, quite uncontended, or at least, you know, maintaining quite a large monopoly. And uh, I, I, I'm both excited and nervous for big companies coming to South Africa because if I'm very excited if they source their staff from South Africa. That's, yeah, please. That's where it must happen. Yeah, please. Not bringing you know yeah. the whole corporate body of the <laughs> amazon south africa from overseas here you know you gotta you gotta hire the right people and power the, the the country and in that way i think the competition would be great okay but you are excited oh yeah okay because in, so in america checking. amazon's network is even more established than than we see here today on amazon some people order their groceries from amazon really so it's like a checkers 60 and 60 combined with take a lot combined with it it's huge it's huge it's like all the independent apps we use to achieve things like mr d delivery you know and 
um, take a lot's delivery systems and then you know Amazon also has a second hand store as well where second hand items can be sold so there's so many products with it. I'm excited to have Amazon. You don't get second hand yeah. items on Take A Lot, do you? No. Okay, I'm just Not checking. Maybe I wasn't aware. <laughs> Maybe refurbished. Yeah, I think probably the computers. I think I once saw a thing there saying uh, refurbished uh, computers. But hey, this is exciting. So no more waiting for it to come over the waters. Yeah. It's now going to be right here. And I think it costs about $120 to have something shipped overnight depending on its weight. If you yeah. buy something from Amazon now, because you can just buy stuff, it just comes from overseas. The difference if Amazon is here is it comes from inside of South Africa. It's been brought previously to South Africa before you bought it. Wow, this is a big story, eh, Kane? Yeah, no, it's going to be huge. And now, because it's leaked, that's also a disadvantage for Amazon because they kind of miss their surprise window announcement comp- yeah. competitive advantage. Mm-hmm. So you best believe they there's some pl- there's some meetings going on today and yesterday <laughs> and this week to discuss just this at, at the Take Lot boardroom.